Hello everyone, Tony with Referral Auto Group. Today I'm taking through a Forest River Evo 2360. It's a rear kitchen. Now very unique in the sense that this is our first fiberglass sided Evo that we have had. If you remember, they're mostly a corrugated aluminum wood frame structure. This is a fiberglass skinned welded aluminum structure with a foam block insulation. This is the first that we've had and the first that they've produced and there'll be many more. So come on by and check this out. I'm gonna cover specs and features. It's gonna be a lot like the previous 2360 and it's corrugated brother, but I'm gonna state them anyways. So here we go. We are 28 foot, eight inches in overall length, weigh approximately 6,200 pounds unloaded with a GVW of 7,700 pounds. We carry 56 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of gray, 40 gallons of black. We have a six gallon gas and electric water heater and comfortable sleeping for up to five people. Now let's cover some of the features. As I said before, this is a smooth fiberglass, welded aluminum structure with foam block insulation, vacuum bonded sidewalls. We come down to a textured rock guard here in front, which leads you down to your battery tray where it will house a complimentary interstate battery from us in a battery box. You also have your battery cutoff switch, your solar on the side plug, but rest assured you do have that nice large solar panel up on the roof by Go Power with the solar charge controller inside. This has a larger seven gallon, 30 pound LP tanks with a front power tongue jack. All lights on the exterior and interior are LED. So if you see some flickering during the video, it's because of the way the video comes across. We have our full pass-through storage. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It goes all the way through and is accessible from the bed. We have a heated and enclosed underbelly and it's done in a plastic shell that is removable. If you have seen the pictures, I'm gonna get down here and show you the best I can. But if you've seen the pictures, this is like no other trailer that I have seen to where it is a very nice hard shell, not the corrugated plastic enclosed underbelly. Power stabilization jacks on all four corners. You can see them drop there in the front, done by the touch of a switch. They do come down and equalize each other, so you don't have to worry about having them leveled out. They will level themselves out. This is a one slide done in a Schwintec system. Up on the roof, you have your air conditioning system, which is central and ducted. There's also a solar panel up there. Check out the pictures. I did take a picture of it. And your high definition off-air antenna. That will get you about 48 channels of crystal clear TV where we sit here. We have an outdoor shower, which we passed. It is on your non-enjoyment side. It keeps all the water away from where you're trying to enjoy yourself. Because it's a rear kitchen, there's your refrigerator vent there in the back wall. And a ladder going up on your fully walkable roof. This has a 3 sheathing on the roof and a one-piece rubber membrane that never needs an annual coating. But you do need to check your die core on an annual basis. Coming around this side, there's your button for your rear stabilization jacks, which I do have up in the air right now. But they're there. I do have the fronts drop just for display purposes. We have a power awning that extends out eight feet with an LED light strip up against the side of the coach so you can have that awning fully retracted in acclimate weather and still get plenty of light from it. Our outdoor speakers are controlled by the indoor sound system. Moving down the side here, you do have an adjustable pitch even though it's a power awning. This is the Solera and you just pull down on your rafter arm and it stays right where you leave it. Why would you wanna do that? Just in case it's raining really hard, you could pull down on that and it will dip the one corner and let the water run off because in a hard enough rainstorm, it will puddle up there on top of the awning. You have a quick connect LP line for any uh, propane appliances. So you don't have to carry any extra propane. It will hook to that, but make sure you remove your regulator because that's already a regulated line. If you have a double regulator, the one that comes on your barbecue, it will not allow it to light. All right, let's go inside. Don't forget your leash latch for your dogs here right under there you hook them up you have a beer with your best friend don't worry about it taking off if you're not paying complete attention to it as we walk in we have residential style flooring full wraparound booth which does make down into a bed here's your sofa which also scissors flat into a bed and is a rear kitchen so it's off on its own in the back here we have an eight cubic foot propane electric refrigerator solid surface countertops roller blackout shades again we have the solar on board it is the go power with the charge controller fireplace which is a great heater it gives you plenty of different um, scenes and colors and is a fantastic heater i can't say enough it will be better heat than the furnace just because it's nice comfortable and not a real dry heat we have the auto detect converter 
So no matter what type of batteries you have, it is compatible. So if you want to go lithium batteries, you're not having to share in the expense of switching out that converter to do so. Pan around here, that nice large wraparound awning is or, <laughs> wraparound awning, wraparound booth is surrounded by windows. So you have all your roller shades as well. That blacks it out. There's no silhouetting through your blinds. Everything we sell is does include a TV. This will get a 32-inch smart TV installed by us, given to you as a gift. As we walk through here, we pass the bathroom, which is kind of nice. It's up near the bedroom. The bedroom does have a rolling pocket door to block it off. It is not a curtain, so you have complete privacy. And walk around all the way around the bed. This has a residential mattress in it by Capital Mattress, so no need to upgrade the mattress when you get in. And one thing I noticed in this is they kind of hid a shelf there in the back. I'm going to see if I can zoom in without messing this up. And you have your USB plugs right there, so you can hide a CPAP machine or what have you. You can run the cord for it out here where they have the 110 plugs, but at least it's a nice convenient spot to tuck it behind your wardrobes. And it's on both sides of the bed. Lots of walk around room. You got windows across from each other for a cross breeze. And again, you have a solid pocket door to block you off for your privacy. Here's your Go Power controller. It's going to freak out a little bit because we do not have a battery on board right now. But there is always a battery installed free of charge. It is an interstate battery on everything that we sell. Going into the bathroom, you have your toilet at a nice angle so you're not banging your head trying to do your paperwork. Residential height sink for brushing your teeth. You're not bending all the way over. And there's your medicine cabinet. Nice large corner shower with glass doors and linen closet all the way up. Lots of room on the floor here. So if you have guests staying with you, they can come in from sleeping in here and walk into the bathroom, get showered and ready for the day and come out totally prepared. All right. We'll kind of pan around here. I'll give you a lay of the land. Your microwave. You have a three burner cooktop in your oven. Residential style faucet with sprayers. Again, solid surface counters with inserts that go over the sink, which is a one large farmhouse style sink. So you're not confined to two separated sinks. If you're one that likes that, you can always bring a dish pan to make your soapy water. But what's good about that is the larger pans and stuff, you're not having to try and squeeze into there. 8 cubic foot propane electric refrigerator, so it is the larger refrigerator. It's not the smaller refrigerator. Again, this is only 28 foot 8 inches in overall length. Fireplace, again, don't forget, comes with the TV. LED lights inside and out. Any flickering just because of my video. Let's go back outside. As I get out and spin around here, we're going to recap what we just saw. This is our Evo 2360, the first we've had in our smooth fiberglass bonded wall construction with welded aluminum and foam block insulation we have that enclosed and heated underbelly we're 28 foot 8 inches in overall length we're approximately 6200 pounds empty with a gvw of 7700 pounds we're calling 56 gallons of fresh water 75 gallons of gray 40 gallons of black we have that six gallon gas and electric water heater don't forget about the solar up on the roof your full walk around queen bed with a private door nice wraparound kitchen in the back Sofa that turns into a bed, wraparound booth, our power awning, list goes on and on. So come on out and check it out, 209-404-2200. Check us out on the web at www.referralautogroup.com. As always, we're not strong arm salespeople. We're not going to hustle and hassle you to you buy. We're going to educate you and leave that buying experience completely and decision completely up to you. If you've been in, then you know that's true. If you haven't, come on out and check us out. Let me know if you feel anything different. We're a full-service facility. We have our service center to cater to all our clients' warranty repairs, outside repairs, extended warranty repairs, upgrades, accessories, and we even outfit all the tow vehicles to safely tow these down the road. As always, thanks for watching. We are the home of the forever warranty. That's a nationwide lifetime warranty on covered components. So check us out, www.referralautogroup.com. Or call us at 209-404-2200.